Hello the internet and welcome to another fast school holiday video workshop with CNRL Library Innovation Studio and Library Children Services. Today we're going to show you how to make these awesome models and shapes made out of crayons. For this workshop you will need a knife, a chopping board, some crayons, they can be new crayons, old crayons, broken crayons. You'll need some silicon cupcake or ice cube moulds and you'll need a baking tray to put them on. And of course you're also going to need an oven. So the first thing you need to do is to get the paper off your crayons if they're still on there. So get a knife and just push along the paper to rip it a little bit and then it should peel off quite nicely. Just like that. Depending on the size of your moulds you're probably going to need about five whole crayons to do each shape. Now before you do this you want to probably be using a chopping board or knife that you're not too worried about because it is going to get a little bit crayon. -y. Now you're going to want to chop them into about centimetre long chunks, which is about how long the crayon is at the point. Depending on how strong you are, you can probably do two or three in one go, and you should be able to get about ten chunks out of each crayon. You don't need to go any smaller than that. Now think about what colours you want to do. I'm doing a dinosaur here, so I'm going to have greens mainly and a little bit of red. I'm not going to do it all the same shade of green, I'm going to put a light green and a dark green in there, but you probably don't want to do too many colours because they will mix a little bit, and you don't want it being too much of a mess. Then again, maybe you do. It's always good to experiment. Popping some red there near where its teeth would be. But otherwise I'm gonna fill the rest with green. Chopping can be tiring work after a while, so you might need to get a grown up to help you. But have a go yourself first. You don't want them getting all the fun. Now for my heart shape one, I am gonna put a lot of red in, but I think I'll also put some blues and oranges in there as well to make it a bit more interesting. You could do a solid red one as well though. This is artwork, so you can't really do anything wrong, so long as you're happy with the result. Now when these melt in the oven, they're gonna flow as a liquid, like water. So don't worry that maybe you don't have it completely even, it's all going to find its own level, just as if you'd poured water in there. So there's not gonna be any air gaps whatsoever. Now because these are silicone moulds, they're pretty bendy, and that's fine, that makes it really easy to get them out afterwards. It also means that when you're getting it out of the oven and they're still liquid, they can get a little bit dangerous. So it's a good idea to put these on a baking tray. That way they're not going to fold and flop around when you get them out of the oven. Okay, let's get these in, 130 degrees, for about 8 minutes. But you want to check it every now and again, just have a quick look in the oven and see if it's gone liquid or not. Oh yes, it's pretty hot so be careful and just gently bring it up because you don't want this to splosh around too much and spoil your pattern. There we go. Now we're gonna leave these to cool for about 10 minutes and then we'll put them in the fridge for a further 10, 15 minutes until they're completely cold to the touch underneath and on top and completely solid. We don't wanna put them in the fridge straight away. The temperature will drop too fast and end up with cracks in your crayon models and you don't want that. Okay, they've been in the fridge for about 20 minutes. Time to get them out. Okay, let's see what we've got. Might start with the love heart first. Now, because these are silicon, you should be able to squish them out quite nicely. And this love heart one will come out easily. It hasn't got any fine detailing on it. Look at that. Beautiful. That'll make a great present for someone you love. Okay, let's get my shells out. Yeah, nice. That one's looking good. Now for the mermaid's tail. I tried to put blue up one end and orange down the other end. Wow. Check that out. And last of all, some dinosaurs. Now these ones have super fine detailing on them, so I'm going to have to be a bit careful. I don't want to break their feet or the tail. I'm practically turning the mould inside out here to make sure it comes out with no breakages at all. There it comes. <laughs> Look at that. Gently does it. This is why we use silicone, because we can bend it in all sorts of ways to get our finished item out. Oh, look at that. How cool is that? That is so cool. And that's it. We hope you enjoyed this video workshop. We hope you love making these, displaying these, giving them as gifts, or just using them as crayons. Because they still work. Now keep watching to see what you'll need for the next fast school holiday video workshop. Arr, arr, ee, ee, next time we'll be making dried oranges. You will need some oranges, some sort of sugar, a tray with baking paper and of course an oven. <laughs>